That fluffalo is getting closer and closer to the bloody door every episode. Fuck off. Right, so this is Starbound Asteroid Base, and this is our Halloween episode, because it's coming up fast, and I thought, why not do something spooky as balls? So, if you don't like spiders, this episode might not be for you, um, but we'll try and make it more metallic than hairy, and that should cover all the um, arachnophobe bases, because you're not scared of metal, are you? Presumably. Unless it's hairy metal. <laughs> spooky hairy metal. What the fuck am I talking about? Right, so where are we going to put our Halloween-type stuff? So... I'm just checking out the map room. Um, I've added all the, the the more recent stuff to this map, by the way. So there's the phone box. There's the church. Um, over here is looking quite empty. Um, round, round by the museum and the bogs. Um, maybe underneath here we can put something or... Yes, right. Okay, let's just go and scout out the area. Um, because we haven't really been around the museum much at all recently. There was a good reason for that. Well, I need to collect some more bugs. Yeah, balls to it. Right, so if we're going to do a giant spider or something along those lines, um, I think if we integrate it to an... Bloody hell, I'll go off. If we integrate it to an existing um, map, um, or an existing build, that might be handy. Um, I could put it on top of something. I could actually put it on top of, like, the museum. Oh, God, there's all these bloody buggers. Now, this museum definitely looks better than what it did in the original episode, doesn't it? Um, when it was just... Originally, it was just a big square room. I'm actually really pleased with it now. Oh, it looks very thematic and cool. So if we're going to put a spider, but if we put a spider on top of the museum, uh, and then kind of cobweb it up a bit... I mean, this already looks a bit cobwebby, doesn't it? It already looks kind of like it's all that sort of thing. So maybe if I just, like, um, redesign this into an actual web, um, and then we'll have to do something with the web, because otherwise it's just going to be a big web. So, if we make it... So, if we have some sort of tenant thing going on... Right, let's start this thing. Let's, um, let's start with this... Let's actually start with the... Um, yeah, we'll start with this, because this is... Um, this, this will, this, I think, um, will guide our way to what's going on. So I'll, I'll take out all this stuff, because that's some... Um, I want it to be a kind of proper web shape. And I was never really happy with all this gunk anyway, because it looks a bit tits. Go away. Uh, right, so in the, in the spirit of webbiness, I've already made myself some modern platform, which is ex actually different to this silver stuff. But since we've used a lot of silver, I thought it might be best just to use something a bit different. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave this in for now. In fact, what I'll do... To give ourselves a little bit of space, I'm going to put in some temporary scaffolding, which I'll just use wood, like that, just so we don't keep on falling to our deaths, which will be a nuisance, a minor inconvenience in this game in Italy, but whatever. Oh, door. Oh, no, that's... Oh, she's getting, she's getting pissy. She's, oh, she, she leapt off the bog and came at me. Um, well, she's not complaining at the moment. Huh. Oh, well. Well, fine. I have nightmares sometimes about meeting Big Ape. Ooh. Right, anyway, let's web up. So, we want this to be a proper web, um, with something in the middle, like um, a fly. Or just a tenant. We'll have a tenant in the middle, of some kind. Possibly a spooky Halloween tenant. Uh, there's some spooky furniture, so um, that's Froggy's. Mm. I could always steal it from a, another build. Okay, so, that's going to be around. Okay, let's, um, let's do this. Let's start it off by putting in some diagonal webbing. We'll make this like the, um, the backbone of things. Let's just reset the view. There we go. Hup. I don't know how big this is going to be. Um, it's kind of like gonna, the middle will be sort of there-ish. So we can make this, we can build this up a bit more. And um, please don't get in the way. You're in the way! Get off the end or I can't build anything. Thank you. Bloody bog ape. Bog! Uh, right, up, up, up. I think that might be enough. Uh, I don't know though, because I kind of think it needs to be sod off. <laughs> I've had enough of you. I think it needs to actually be vertic- Oh, you can't do it vertically! Ooh, that's a nuisance. That's going to make things a lot harder than I thought. And we can go how is You can do everything but vertically. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, this is going to be- That might require a bit of rethinking. Let's, let's bring it back up again. We'll kind of make it go across like this. You can, you can do it kind of like this. So you can do sort of gentle diagonals, um, like that. But yeah, verticalless. After we, oh god, look at this. This is going to be it's actually going to be really difficult trying to actually get this to work. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, that kind of like, that's starting to work. And then we'll have something. Yeah. Okay. So this can be the middle. So what? If we're going to put a middle bit, get out of the way. <laughs> Bargain! I'm going to I'm going to kill you. 
I'm going to make you plummet to your death in a minute. If you don't get out of the way... Thank you. Right. So we kind of like... This is a bit like... Back in the toxic layer, I built a kind of man in the moon. And I think I'm, I'll do something similar to that. Have a like a roundish... This is going to be an asteroid rather than a moon though. So it's just like a, be, a, be a bespoke one. Um, it doesn't have to be a... In fact, I don't really want it to be a kind of perfectly round one. Something like that. Um, I don't know if I can have asteroid walls, though. I can't remember from the lessons that we learned in the Toxic Lair. Um, so I'll just test this out. It'll need a door. I remember that much, because I got befuddled last time about that. It took me ages to work out. I need, I've just forgotten a door. Right, so we'll do that. We'll put in a door, um, if, if we've got any doors. And we've got a cupboard. I've ser oh, there's this one. Seriously, I, I did a bit of a clear out, and I'm seriously running out of stuff. Um, so we need a torch. Where do torches get off? Oh, I always forget that they put it in there. And we need one bit of furniture. Um, a guillotine. <laughs> that doesn't even fit. Uh, oh, nothing fits. Uh, we need, just need some something. Not a lamp. Um, how about a cool cupboard? Yeah, that'll do. Right, hopefully. I mean, we'll, we'll put in some different furniture later. Oh, it's another ape. Get back to the church, you fool. No, go away. And then we'll replace this with spooky furniture. Um, and then we'll continue the web. In fact, because it's going dark, and I don't want it to be dark in the video, I shall go... Right, I know. I'll go back to the ship, and then I'll go to get some spooky furniture. Um, it's very low chance that Froggy will be selling it. So what I'm going to do... Go away. Is I'm going to go to one of these um, planets I'm, I, I've saved for my top ten video of tenants. And this is canon, by the way. All these tenants are canon to the asteroid base world. So I feel perfectly um, happy about just stealing his house. <laughs> so this is all spooky furniture. It's okay because we'll, we'll re resurrect the furniture um, over on our asteroid base and he'll reappear. Or there'll actually be a different guy, but never mind. But this is nicely Halloween-y. Oh, I have to leave his TV and thing behind. In fact, there may be enough. Hang on, let's, let's see if there's any furniture in here. Yep, yeah, okay, that's fine. That means we'll be able to ha keep keep a tenant here whilst going back to our place. Good. Um, you can have your TV and everything. Right, okay, back to the base. Uh, museum, I guess. Uh, thank God for teleporters. Uh, teleporters are the only way to get around these days, because it's the, the base is so big. I think someone pointed that out in the comments um, a, a few, couple of videos ago. Right, okay, so let's go up here and up here and up here. Right. Let's see how much furniture we can cram in this tiny ass space. Um, we have a pumpkin. Pumpkin can go behind the door. That's a bit stupid. Hang on, let's, um, let's just redo that. Put that there. Then we have... That's a glitch banner. That's nothing to do with anything. A spooky clock! That can go there. Then we have... Spooky candles! <laughs> I like talking in that stupid voice. And... And a spooky cauldron. Which doesn't get the spooky voice, sadly. Okay, that should be enough. He's back! And he's gone straight into the cauldron! Get out of the cauldron, you fool! Right, so we've got a spooky Halloween asteroid that's caught in what will be a spider's web once I actually finish the damn thing. Okay, so let's just kind of move that across there. Spider's webs, of course, a bit more complicated than this, so we have to do some in-between bits as well. But we've got to be careful... Because it's going to keep on doing things like awkward things like that. So design-wise, this is going to be a pain in the deek. I mean, look at this. This is going to be... Uh, oh, there we go. That's okay. That sort of works. And we'll also go down here. Well, already it's starting to look reasonable. It's starting to look 8.6 out of 10 all over the place. And get that. Oh, it's not, it's not joining up. Ah, poopy. Never mind. Okay, let's go across here. I think I'll be a bit more lax about this. I, just, I don't have to be kind of super duper bloody you know, slick about this. Because it is supposed to be um, a, a, a drunk spider who did this. I'm not going to be able to do this vertically. I wonder if there's any way of like um, doing something else here. I don't want to just like spray paint more bloody silver. This is going to look shit. Um, chain, maybe? If I did that. And then paint it... Okay, let's try this. Paint it white. Oh, that barely changes it. 
Um, maybe if I all paint it all grey then. Maybe if I paint all the modern platform, or us black in this case. It kind of, kind of makes it kind of like spooky grey colour. It's okay. I'll give it that. It kind of works, and it'll sidestep some of our problems. So I'm going to do it. Um, this is going to have to paint everything again. This is like the bloody phone box all over again. Actually, that phone box. Um, the previous in the previous episode, I was actually. At the time, I thought, oh, God. But then whenever you see it in, like, um, from a distance, if you look at it, like, it shrunk down to a thumbnail, it actually looks surprisingly like a, an actual proper, like, pillar box in a phone box. I was actually quite pleased with that. Um, however, if you get too close up to it, like, if you start squinting, it does look a bit pump, but shush. Ugh, never mind. Right, okay, so let's do this. I'm aware that some of these builds are starting to become less asteroid base -y. Some of them are a bit... Well, not, you know, just like strange and... I don't know. I mean, why would an asteroid base have a big phone box? So I don't know how to square that particular circle. But I am running out of just sensible things to do now. Um, well, and also, I mean, I think I think we are vaguely starting to get to the end of this series anyway. Fair warning. Uh, because um, I think the base is getting quite large and occasionally the game is starting to crash, which I think might be something to do with the size of the thing. Uh, huh. Yeah, that looks okay. And we do kind of... Well, we kind of, like, we can bring that down. Oh, we can't, though, can we? Oh, dicks. Okay, I think that looks okay. Um, I'm running out of chain, so I haven't... I feel like there's a bit of mist here, but never mind. So now I've just got to, like, grey it up a bit. Um, I might just miss out on some of the chain stuff. So, apologies. <laughs> oh, I've just sprayed the asteroid. Uh, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> I've, got to, I've already got to that stage in the build where I just stop caring. Um, I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure you're very much the same. And do that, run that, run that, run that, run that, run that, run that. Yeah, oh God, I don't want a grey asteroid. That does look a bit piss. Um, right, so clear that out before I go bloody spare. Aha, aha, aha. Right, still need to do a bit more than that. Yep. Careful of the pyramids. What annoys me about this pyramid is the fact that it isn't actually watertight because it's diagonal. So I might put an... Nah, I'm not going to say what I'm going to do because I'm never going to do it. Cool! Actually, that looks, it looks reasonable. It looks average at best. No, it looks it looks okay. Um, which means I can also take out this bit of scaffolding. And in theory... In theory... Let's just get my ship out. Which I seem to be using less and less throughout the course of this series. Possibly because it's now steaming like a big turd. But look! You can go through it. So, everywhere is still accessible. Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's fine. <laughs> Almost went um, plummeting down to Earth. Okay. Spider time, I guess. Do, 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 do. Haha. Haha. Oh, dear. I, I still hurt myself. <laughs> Look at my health. So, I do need some uh, stuff. Um, I need to make a metallic spider. Um, I don't want to do more bloody copper. I seem to have overused copper. I'm sure I could use that for something. Let's craft a bit of that. Um, so is some sort of metal heavy iron bars? Maybe. Although I haven't really got much iron. Hmm. Iron block? No, it was boring. Uh, rusty, oh, rusty metal. Maybe. Let's, let's have 200 of them. And see what happens. Don't think the rest of it is very much use. All right, what about that? Because that could be some sort of cross-eyed thing. No, I'll just I'll just do some red eyes or something. I think it has to be a good red-eyed spider to give you all the willies that you'll ever need, so to speak. Where am I going? This isn't the right bloody way. Uh, hang on. I think it's time to do a bit of flying. Hup. I think someone pointed out that there are actually bigger doors that I could use for these airlocks. I think possibly some high lottle ones, but... Um, that would mean going to a high lottle base, and I've, that would mean having to think about where a high lottle base is. <laughs> uh, but these these do fit through the doors just about, so I'm happy enough. Get off the roof. Actually, this does mean now that the roof access does mean something, uh, because you will want to come up here to admire the spider, because I'm sure that's exactly what you want to do. Uh, okay, so we'll have the so we'll, we'll have a look first, see if this is actually going to be any good. Um, before that kills me, let's just get rid of that. We do want any shenanigans. So, sp oh god. Well, that's okay, actually. I don't mind it, because it's supposed to be a metallic spider. This isn't supposed to be a real spider, um, believe it or not. So get rid of that. So, 
how is it going to be arranged? Oh, it's snowing! Happy Christmas! Ev oh, no. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween! Oh, right, okay. So, do, do I have it kind of integrated into here? I mean, I could have the spider kind of like putting one pincer on here. And kind of... Okay, we'll do that. So, the, the first... We'll, we'll have legs on here. And then kind of going across to a body here. This is going to look really terrid. Um, both horrible and terrible. Terrid! Um... Okay, we're going to have to start this. Um, otherwise, well, <laughs> we'll never finish. Okay. Kind of like that. Maybe I'll make this as, like background, the starting bit background. But for now, fuck it. So if we the body... Well, maybe... <laughs> I don't know why, but maybe we'll have a tenant inside the spider. Which makes little to no sense. <laughs> that's, that's generous. So the... Oh, God. So it, it needs another leg. Uh... Okay, let's do that. This is going to be all weird and wonky. Uh, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, this is this is going to be one of those builds, isn't it? So we have it like I've run out of bloody material already. Oh. Ugh, um, change of plan. Um, I've decided that it's just it's just all too awkward and weird to do it up there. I kind of want it to be part of this spider web built part of the build. I don't want it up there because it just limbs would go all over the place and it'd be awkward. So I'm going to put the spider kind of like here-ish. I'm going to use tar as well uh, because the metallic thing just started to be a bit piss. Um, if this goes wrong we'll start again over. <laughs> so I've, I've kind of like um, I've got a bloody uh, a browser now full of spiders to, to, to help guide me. Um, it's not a pleasant sight. I, 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 d I do admit so first of all, we need to just this makes sense. This is kind of scaffolding type stuff, just so we can we can have the main sort of face of the spider here. We're gonna go for like a pseudo three D type thing. Um, so it's, this is gonna be its head. It's mush. Um, and it kind of like go. It's gonna go up there ish, and round like this. So there's no longer gonna be a metallic spider, obviously. But it's gonna be a tar spider or a tider. Uh, so that's kind of like going to be the, the face. And we will make this kind of hollow. There's going to be a hollow spider because maybe we'll put a, a, a tenant inside the spider like I was, I was, <laughs> like was going to possibly do. And so it's going to have red eyes, but I don't know where, where does spiders... Spiders have great big clonking eyes, don't they? Okay, do I have lots of metal? No, I didn't. I just took a bind it. And we'll use this metal instead. So this is a tits metal. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we'll do it like... It's not going to be able to be able to have a tenant in after all, is it? That's uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I've trapped myself in. I'm inside the spider forever. I'm fine. Okay, get up there. Down there. Like that. And we need some red, red stuff inside. Uh, so that flesh block will help. Red. Eyes. And then we'll put in just generic ornate wall, as per usual. Uh, oh, it looks goofy! Oh, it's goofy! I don't want goofy. Goofy spider. I was, I was looking for terrifying, not daft. Damn it, I've also broken everything. Um, I'll paint that later. Maybe I'll just put teeth on it. Oh, it's not going vertically, is it? God damn it. Okay, what's teeth? <laughs> what's teeth? <laughs> uh, well, I might fi try and find some better material at some point. Although this might work. That's kind of toothy. <laughs> this is going to be so goofy. Oh, this is not going to scare a soul. Okay, so that's going to be... It's got, it's got to have a, a... What do you call it? A kind of thorax type affair, hasn't it? Um, but for that kind of pseudo 3D thing, it's kind of like going to go around here. There's no... It's really difficult to do perspective, obviously, so... So, well, no, really. Um, mm, and we'll just fill that in. I won't bother doing whatever. And so the spider legs, where do spider legs actually come from? They kind of like come from here-ish, I guess. So we kind of make them go, maybe I should do this in a different, I don't know, spiders. Tar spiders. Ah, fuck them. <laughs> Fucking tar spiders. So, yeah, we'll make the legs kind of background. Oh god, this is not going to go well. So it can, we can actually walk in front of it and everything. So yeah, little legs here. 
And... Legs over there. That's a much le bigger leg, obviously. And then, kind of, that just goes off into fuck knows where. How many legs do spiders have? 704 is not the right answer. So it's about, is it 6 or 8? Is it 6 or 8? Let me have a look at my pictures. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That one's got 8. That one's got 6 and 2 shit stubby ones at the back. That one's got mm, proby ones. Well, okay, okay, here's what we'll do. There. It goes down to there. And goes down to there. This is so piss. <laughs> Never mind. And like that. Ah. Uh, well, it's something, isn't it? Okay, so I think I've finished the spider. Um, oh dear, we've <laughs> we probably need to do something else in this build as well. Um, we haven't actually filled half an hour. So, um, I thought what we'd do is we'd make a pumpkin just to finish off the Halloween theme. We may as well. Um, I had a little bit of a play around and made some more flesh because I discovered something rather cool about um, flesh. Sort of, it's not cool. Um, is if you paint it, it looks very pumpkin-y. So, let's make a cucumber. No, not a cucumber, a pumpkin. Oh, yep, yeah, I was going to make, make a great big jack-o'-lantern here. Uh, why not? Um, because we've, we've got time to fill. Ugh. Never had this before. Normally I'm struggling to finish in 30 minutes. Or once edited down. Um, and that spider, I know it looks... <sighs> I know what it is. Now leave me alone. Right, so let's build the pumpkin. I think... In the spirit of pumpkins, um, I think I might well build it and then carve it out. Um, so, you're not going to be able to get back up here, I'm afraid, lads. <laughs> Trapped you. Okay, so this is going to be a, only a small pumpkin. And this, the devil here, quite literally, is going to be in the detail. Although not literally. <laughs> what? And just do that. This is going to be quite difficult to carve out, but I suppose because it's not going to be too big, it'll be okay. So, obviously, there's going to be lighting inside because jack-o'-lantern. Uh, I suppose I am kind of working off... In fact, there's a, there's a jack-o'-lantern over there we could work from. Um, so, it, oh, it just needs some textual detailing, I guess. Um, because it needs lines, doesn't it? Because it is a squash. It is a member of the squash family, after all. And squashes are lined. Ridged, some say. Well, every single day they say that. Uh, we'll cut. We'll, we'll we'll sort out first. And first of all, we'll. It doesn't. It has a kind of like a brown stem. Maybe I'll put brown stem with a bit of green leaf on it. Uh, so we've got plenty of brown, brown com coming out of our ears. Um, I can make a little asteroid stem. That'd be quite cute. No, it wouldn't. It looks shit. Dirt is brown, but we've only got three of it. Rusty bloody metal again. Um, I suppose wood then. Like that. And so on. Um, we haven't got any green stuff in it. So I'll we'll just do the usual thing of... Uh, pumpkin leaves are actually... I'm just picturing a pumpkin patch and they're actually quite massive. But let's just do it in a kind of cartoon style instead. We'll just do a leaf like that. Um, and then paint it green. Uh, find the green. This looks bloody cartoony, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, never mind. Right, okay, so let's now spray the pumpkin. Let's get a nice orange look to it. It's got decent enough sort of texture for this. Not perfect. Uh -huh. Go across there and down here. Of course there's a pumpkin on top of a museum. So I just, <laughs> just had to get that out there. Why wouldn't there be? Uh, right, okay, so now we need to carve it out. Um, it's kind of like it's quite 3D-ish, that one. So let's try and keep along the same lines. So not just have it really just like boringly symmetrical. Right, we need to get out our carving tool. We'll make it look to the right instead of the left. Is this going to work? Yes, it is. I was pressing the wrong button, like an idiot. It's going to have red sort of fleshy stuff, which is going to be a pain. You know what? This should have been, this should have been hollow, shouldn't it? Can you... You can paint background red. Let's let's try it. Um, I'd be annoyed if I don't at least try this. Um, right. Yes, that's going to look better. Okay, let's let's hollow it out. That just looks piss. <laughs> this whole build's a bit piss. 
<laughs> I like the spider. The spider web went well. And then it kind of like went a bit downhill from there. Um, it turns out making this kind of hollow doesn't really make a huge amount of sense, does it? Um, maybe it just won't have a tenant inside after all. I don't know. Well, yeah, I'll just um, I'll redo this. Um, I'll I'll have to I'll have to re redo it, I think. Unless um, maybe I can sort of like work my way around the holes, um, sort of, and um, which will sort of guide me to what the face will eventually look like without getting trapped inside. Uh, up, round here, and there, da da da. I mean, it's a terrible face to be honest, but um. Not in the kind of the terror way I was hoping for. Oh, I've just no, I fucked it up. Oh, I'm get, God, I'm getting trapped. Um, right. Oh no, that's the wrong one. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's not spooky. That's smirking. That is smirking. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll have to we'll have to carve it out a bit more, obviously. So that's the frowny bit. That's going to be the... Oh, the eyes are just... Oh. Actually, I actually kind of like the smirk, though. It kind of looks, looks slightly evil. Uh, oh, that's just all stuff. That's all... Uh, I just need to get out of here, don't I? And... The door... Well, we don't need the door anymore, do we? Not really. And... We paint it. Can I pick up all that material for me? I can't. Oh, that's a nuisance. Well, let's put some torches in and see what the final result is. Uh. Huh. It needs to be bigger, doesn't it? I think these um, the eyes and everything need to be that just that bit bigger, just so we can get the full effect. Now we don't have to... Oh, God, the torch is gone. Right. Pumpkin carving in Starbound. <laughs> right. Make the mouth a bit bigger. Nice big pumpkin gob. Need to go on the other side now. This will look out well. Hmm. Uh, I'm just trying to rescue this from looking totally piss. <laughs> oh, he loves me. Nice. Okay. So now I just yeah, need to put the torches back. Hurdy ho. Right. So now I just need to wait for that stuff to go away. Um. Might need to save and reload. Right, I think that's as good as it's going to get, really. Um, yeah, I mean, all these kind of, like, giant spooky type things are never going to be, I don't know. I think they require a bit more work than I've put in. But yeah, I think the pumpkin came out okay in the end. And um, we got rid of the green leaf, because that was a bit pump. Um, but that looks relatively spooky at night when it's all lit up. It looks like a good smirking pumpkin. It doesn't look, look, really look terrifying so much as, as I say, smirky. But never mind. I'm not happy with the spider, but never mind about that. But I do like the webbing. I think that looks kind of cool. Um, you can you can die for a start. Uh, so I did get a tenant for the pumpkin. It's a shame that, but never mind. But otherwise, yeah, I think that'll do. Um, so thanks for watching. This has been JB from randomizeduser.com. Enjoy your Halloween if you're going to do that. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.